on the uh, um, waffle side. Actually, as I'm saying that, I'm wondering to myself: isn't it, is Nick Zuckerer able to rep as much as to Navitas? As hopefully one of the uh, other commentators can correct me. Um, so the match has just started now, and the teams are fairly close to each other. Um, is warping at zero on the beacon and charging straight towards Waffles, who are whoa. Tusker is burning straight into the kill. Waffles pulling again away. I'm really interested by the Waffles' reliance on the Vigilant. It doesn't have the T to resist. We were talking about it before, but here we see drones coming in. It looks like the Vigilant is in fact the first primary. Sissa is starting to take damage. Let's see who Waffles shoot first. Yeah, I'm a little bit about that, worried about these molasses. By, by, are they going to Boundary because if they get 125 kilometers, ooh, it's close. The molasses oh, pull back very careful. close. They're going to be yeah. tired at this time of night. Throw the series through one time tier. No, it looks like they pulled it back. That's great. Yeah. So, Sis here we're going to see. Yeah, here we're going to see the difference between how a Deimos can tank, how a Vigilant can tank. The Vigi has the T2 resist, it has the local rep bonus if it's running it. But as it stands, the Deimos is in lower armor than the Vigilant. Uh, I'm trying to see who's tackled what. It's all kind of just a mess with each team piling on top of each other. Uh, it looks like the Deimos is under some struggle. The Vigi not taking that much damage. Let's see how this damage applies. There's a lot of ECM drones out um, from... Both team, no, no, it looks like uh, Waffles Whoa, and Damage Drones. Whoa, Navitas is a oh. taking a lot of damage, going into armor. Where are those reps? The other Navitas should have them free locked. Those reps should already be landing. Looks like he may be jammed by those drones. Is Anuka going to go down? That will be such a big pickup for the Waffle team. This, yes, definitely. That would be a really, really Whoa. bad thing for the Tuskers. Um, with, are those damage Navitas is bleeding. Those... The Navitas is bleeding. Oh. Jams plus damps means no locking for a very, very long time. Anuka having reps on it. Waffles need another jam cycle to land. This, They're relying yeah. on these drones to land. But the Vigilant of Sissa now taking quite a lot of damage here. It's taking, going down to half armor. The Execra is really struggling to keep up with the insane amount of DPS that the Tusters team can put forward. Deimos back up to full health again. Sissa in the Vigilant not looking strong, but he's just managing to hold on. Absolutely. I think the Damps are having more of an effect than the, the analysts might have predicted in this match because the two baller stamps on the, these Navitas are going to bring the Navitas. The Navitas are going to have to get really oh, close Anuka. to these Vigilants to rent Anuka's them. Anuka's going well again. Put them in a Anuka's zone. going down. Boom. Anuka's down. Waffles gets first blood. Waffles is in the lead. Come on, Rose, you can do it. I believe. Come on. Who's the next primary for Waffles? Sissa is. Oh, it's the other Navitas. They're going to take it down with no reps coming on to it. It's an easy pick off. It's going to speed up their burning through the rest of the ships. Sissa still managing to survive, pulling some reps off of that Execra. Waffles doing amazingly well here. Yeah, and boom, Tuskers, oh my gosh, is this going to be, are we going to see the Tuskers lose waffles? their championship to Waffles? Yes, we are. I did not have a doubt for a second. My Waffles Rose can do it. Execra of Jack Lowe, sudden primary of the Tuskers. We're going to have to see his local tank. At the same time, Zola in the Deimos, losing all of his shield, burning into his armor tank. Waffles are not done yet. These three ships left, the Deimos and the starting, have an insane local tank and let, let's be honest i mean the waffles team it doesn't put out oh. a huge amount of dps they're relying on those ecm drones oh bermere now right up against the country and Solomon. they're getting pushed really far away it looks like they're trying to evade uh both of those teams just getting towards 110 kilometers ah uh, they pulling it back again i'm not sure it yeah, just I mean, uh, these ecm drones are not going to help you versus a local tank it'll stop incoming damage for sure it'll help keep that exec alive but it might just be the case that Waffles need to focus on tanking if they cannot break, because Mawless, no damage, Execro, basically no damage unless it's using damage drones, which I doubt. Oh, Jack Lowe's getting low. Those ECM jams need to hit. He needs more I time think... to get his local tank running again. I think the Waffles are doing... Re I think the Tuskers are doing a really interesting play here. I think they must have railguns to protect damage on Execro so far, on at least a couple of their ships. They're sitting right on the edge of the boundary, while the Waffles team are in the middle, and so they're getting excellent tracking, doing oh, excellent Jack, damage to Execro. Jack is so low! That oh, he's gone! down! Tuskers pulling it back! But the Deimos of Zola, if, if uh, Waffles can get that Deimos of Zola down, Waffles they've have still to go got in a good chance. They they've got to melt to. that Deimos. They've got to and get they it down right now. And they have to make now. sure they've they've they don't crash over the boundary. Everything. Oh, they're getting 
Uh, a bit close. Tusker is pulling back in from the boundary. That's going to bring him closer to the Waffle team. Solo going down into structure, taking a lot of damage. His local reps failing. His AR's probably run out by this point. Down into structure, down. He's going down. Zola is gone. Still plenty of time on this match left. Um, the Vigilant in half armor. If the Vigilant dies, then the uh, Waffle team are going to have very little DPS and they will be down on points. So that Vigilant has to stay alive for them to have any chance of winning this match but it doesn't look like he's going to because he is tackled now no for, uh, forgive me he's Sissa, in range use your web, get him. the hell out son get the hell away from that damage live to win use those webs get away you've got a ton of drones following you uh, look at those just, just look at get those out t word warrior drones are gonna melt this guy and he's gonna he's gonna hate these t word warrior drones oh he's picking up speed 1.5k, oh it's slowing down again, Sissa move, drones coming actually off of Sissa, returning, Sissa looks like he's just gonna make it back, he's only got two drones left attacking him, he's in structure, not sure where those drones are going, Tuskers may have pulled their damage too soon. It looks like they have, but it look, he's still taking damage, I think these, they must have damage No, the last they must two have rails. Valkyries are pulling away from Sissa in the video. He's burning off fast as he can do. He's still taking damage though. He's still taking damage. Damage is still coming in. Sissa gets that transversal up. He's gonna go down. He's gonna go. Goodbye Sissa. How are we doing on points at the moment? No, he's still alive somehow. Oh, I don't know what? how. So no, there he no. goes. Uh, on points, uh, the Tuskers are clearly winning it now, 16 plus uh, 12, uh, they definitely oh. are winning this. From um, the jewels of defeat, Tuskers may have pulled it back. Astarte versus Astarte with two Mongols or two Deimos. I know who I prefer here in that matchup, and unfortunately it is not the Waffles. Having said that, no. the Astarte of Suleiman is taking a ton of damage, he's drawn his reps. Yep, and the Astarte um, of uh, Drew Essex. It, you know, if those damps, um, I don't really know what damps are going to do in this. this they're not going to help at all. Those going to in this in this face off. It's the only way um, Waffle's going to win by killing something. If they, if they get close, they're going to die. It's, it's a really really tough situation. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I don't know. I mean, Waffles have come so so close to taking the crown from Tuskers, and Tuskers are not making it easy for them by any means. They are, in every hit point of armor, they are defying the Waffle attempt to take their throne. We're just going to have to see how this match ends. I, I just think that the Astarte and the Deimos are going to take... Wait, forgive me, I've got this all wrong. I've just counted up the points. We made we made electronic attack units six points in this matchup. We made they're heavy more, assault. They're more this is a draw. They're Mauluses. They're uh, uh, destruction oh, forgive frigates. Me, forgive me, yeah, they're destruction frigates. So yeah, no, sorry, give me, I was getting excited there, I thought we might have a draw in the past. But no, it doesn't look like it's going to be a draw. Um, it looks like Tuskers are going to win us some points. Having said that, Sully dropping to half armor. Yeah, I, I think Sully's just letting his armor go down. I mean, his, his local tank is going to be plenty enough to tank a single demo. So let's I mean, have a quick look at Drew's fit, see if he's running like five mag stabs, which is you know kind of what he'd need to break that. But um, I, I very much doubt it. See land, just chill. Chill landing. Oh. Uh, just waffles. He came so close. He came uh, about as close as it's possible to get to winning this series. Like, could it be any yeah. closer? A 2 2 with the draw, with the win on points, with waffles having the advantage early on in this match? So at least, at least, at least one of those uh, Tusker ships must be railgun. Um, I'm, I'm really bad at spotting them because I've got no graphics on my laptop. Um, so at least one of those, because they were blacking the obscura uh, from the edge uh, of the boundary. So the if, if that, that means, that means the more, that, unless it was just drones, I don't know. But it seems the to be like. Is red. So the Astarte is red. Now, if those molasses damping that Astarte when he was sat on the down boundary, and the Execrate hadn't died, this would have gone the other way. This is just like. A tiny little error in this is, judgment. This is why at the start of every match, right click, look at enemy ships. Always, 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 always. Don't assume they've got certain weapons on them because they just might not. So how actually many, going how many kind of low here. Got, so he just yeah, how many seconds have we got left? Like, 30 seconds. 30, 30 seconds. I'm not sure what Waffles can do it now. Um, they're just not getting enough Come on, damage Drew, on this alone. Overheat all the things. I believe in you. Just overheat all the things. 
15 seconds on the clock, it doesn't, no way he's going to get through the armor, let alone the heart. So this yeah. series is going to go to the first place. Fantastic oh. series has been so Waffles. close, so close. Waffles pulling a much, much, much stronger um, showing than uh, everyone expected, which is fantastic. I, I'm, I'm really excited to see what they can pull off in Lions Tournament with this kind of uh, oh, approach. Man. I am so pleased that the Waffles did so well. Obviously, I would have preferred them to win, but like, consider purely based on 80-12 results. Tuskers came fourth. Waffles, I think we won one match. We lost Shadow Cartel, then we won a match, then we lost to someone else, or something like that. And like, it just shows how the strength of different teams can change in a year. Waffles last year, mid to lower tier teams in terms of results, now taking on a fourth place finisher and pushing them to the very ragged edge. Yep, fantastic. Um, I'm just gonna, um, we're out of prizes now, we've got nothing else to give away. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Sir um, to um, just uh, have a little bit of post-match breakdown, post-series breakdown, and then I'll wrap up at the end. Now it's been a long night, so we'll keep it short and sweet. Yeah, most definitely keeping it short at Swede. Like I said, that poster above my bed with Suleiman would never fail me. Coming out in the end, and finally, we can say that Tuskers holds on to their EVENT belt and the record, being undefeated so far, but waffles. My hats are tipped and off because that was wonderful showing. I think this EVENT has had the most exciting matches that we've seen here in EVENT and it's been a pleasure casting and getting a chance to watch them. That fight in particular, I have to say, you know, both those demos eventually figuring out to run down the x and kill it instead of trying to brawl on zero really is what changed the match. The Waffles only having two ships, really, to screen, which was the Vigilance and the Astarte. The Deimos, one Deimos would always be free to run after an x -Guerer, and that's exactly what happened there that caused the match to turn around. What do you think, Setonia? Uh, yeah, I think one thing that was really interesting in that fight is that there was actually two fights taking place at the same time. We had the, the, the Executor of the uh, Waffles side actually burned off. It was 60 kilometers uh, above the rest of the fight where a, where the Vigilant uh, and the Astarte from the Waffles were fighting a Daimos and then another, the Daimos and the uh, Astarte of Suleiman uh, went after the ex when they couldn't break the Vigilant. And it's something you don't really see uh, too often in Blaster Brawls, even though I, I guess Suleiman did have rail guns, but uh, having like two fights taking place at the same time was pretty interesting and it's one of the strengths of having that cruiser instead of the two Logi frigates because the two Logi frigates were forced to brawl too close to that uh, Vigilant uh, which was able to and the Astarte which were able to kill them whereas the x was able to sit at 66 kilometers and uh, force uh, force the Tuskers to come after it. Yeah, most definitely. You know, just quickly wrapping up here, because I know we've gone a little bit over time. Gorski, what were your final thoughts on that match? You know, I was it was down to the ragged edge. What do you think was the big turning point there? Did Waffles ever had a chance, or do you think it was a, an execution error, or was it just a... What do you think? Uh, I think, uh, like, first of all, it was a really good match, but uh, I think uh, just from the start, I think Waffle, uh, uh, Tuskers won just from the setups. But uh, then, like... Uh, uh, Waffles managed to kill a lot of like Tusker stuff and get both Logi Frigs off the field, and they get the Demoses. But like, what changed the match was when uh, Suleiman and the other Demos managed to burn down the Exequor, like right on the edge of the arena and kill him. And then like they have their T2 resistances up against uh, like a Vigilant who doesn't have T2 resistances. And, yeah, not, uh, yeah, not to mention, Galente T2 does yeah. not mind getting shot at by Kin Thermlocked Blasters. You know, it's really not going to care that much. Uh, Pothy, any, any closing thoughts before we uh, hand it over to Bay? Uh, just, this series, like, my heartstrings are tugged and broken. Yeah, I can get you a Suli monster if you want. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And just then you can see some isk on the side. I've made some serious isk. I always go with the safe bet. All right, Bay, I'll hand it over to you. Uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, it was great talking and commentating with all of you. Yep, fantastic job. Thanks, CCP Logi Bro, first and foremost, for spending his Sunday evening supporting this venture. Um, we're going to do it on the next. Uh, 
first Sunday of the month uh, in July, which beats uh, July the 5th. We're going to do the another one. Um, I'm told Tuskers are very, very deep into training for Alliance Tournament 13. So instead of having them come back as vending champion, we may have a showpiece. Uh, we're going to chat to the teams after and see how they feel, but we'll definitely be running a, um, an excellent matchup for you again on uh, July the 5th. Um, I'd like to thank Logibro again, um, Apostany for coming on and supporting his bros and commentating, Chesir for being absolutely outstanding co-host and leading us through and giving some brilliant insight um gorski and Setonia again brilliant analysis and commentary from you guys um i'd like to thank our sponsors eventy um uh, nottingham um eve bet uh, razor um ccp and twitch and um that's it i think i'm out thank you very much guys and uh, we'll see you for the next show on the fifth